everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the Inflix DB tutorial series part 2. Before watching this video, I will highly recommend you to watch part 1 and a part 2 since we are gonna use a lot of concepts from a part 1 and a part 2 which is related to the Inflix DB. And along with that, since uh, in this video, I will be uh, more focusing towards how can you integrate the Inflix DB data points with the Grafana. So the understanding of Grafana is also needed right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna provide you know the part 1 part 2 uh, video link along with the Grafana video link which I have already published right so that you can just refer that you know so just quickly to the recap in the previous video uh, for the Inflix TV what we had covered we just covered the Inflix SQL structure where we talk about the measurement tag and appeal and we also see some basic example through which we created a table like we use the insert command to create the table and we use the insert command to insert the record as well. Then we saw the select queries as well to how we can access the data which is pretty much similar to what we write, uh, what, 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 what queries we write against the RDBML. That is pretty much same, right? And we also talk about the major differences between the Infix QL and ISQL. So what we're gonna cover in this video is we're gonna see how we can integrate the Inflix TB data points within a Grafana. And I will divide this, you know, I will divide this Inflix DB integration with Grafana in two parts. The first part is gonna where we're gonna see how we can create the data source for our Inflix DB. Then we're gonna see how we can import the Inflix DB table data into the Grafana and how we can represent that on a Grafana, right? So prerequisite to do that is uh, the Inflix DB server needs to be running successfully. So let me quickly check whether the Inflix DB server is running or not. So that seems to be running fine. Then let's see whether the Grafana server is running. Uh, that also seems to be running fine. Let's quickly see uh, the contain the. This is what the Inflix DB client is. So let's quickly see where we are. We have these databases. I think the second DB, which I'm just gonna highlight, this we created in my uh, in, in the in, in our past in the, in the previous video. So let's quickly get into this DB and see what we have here. Show measure and so that would give me what all tables we have. We have application name, CPU users, Docker container, and So we have enough tables, right? Let's quickly see uh, how many records we have within this. I think it's enough for us to just you know visualize the data on Grafana. So let's quickly uh, open uh, the uh, browser. And since Grafana runs on localhost 3000, so okay. So the very first thing which you're gonna see how we can create the data source for Inflix DB. So for that, just go here, click on data source. Add data source, put any name in Flix DB integration. Okay, and the type is gonna be in Flix DB. And since this server runs on 8086, like Grafana run on 3000, by default in Flix DB run on 8086. Okay, and then come down here and you just need to give the database name. So we are going to use second DB. We didn't define any user and password. So I think we are good to add this. Data source added, data source is working. Save and tested. So everything looks good here. So data source has been created now. What we need to do next is we need to create a new dashboard, right? So to do that, come here dashboard. Click on graph so this is what you're gonna see right what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it this okay in general just put any name let's say inflix docker so this is gonna be the name of our graph you can put description but that is not mandatory for now but the important part is to see the matrix right so here in matrix, what you have to do, you have to select the data source which we had created. We created this Inflix DB integration Grafana. So by default, you get this query structure, right? So here, if you will see in select measurement, you will see all those four tables which we have in the second DB, right? So quickly verify this. 
Okay, application name, CP user, uses Docker container temperature. Same you can see here. We're gonna see, use the Docker container. Okay. For now, just remove mean. We don't need it. Remove this fill as well. Not needed. Group by command. Just I mean, we're just gonna see whether we are able to see the data or not. We quickly see that whether we have a data or not. Yeah, 5034 that is what we had here right in this particular car yeah just close it and this seems to be the time here okay so from last six hour let's quickly see 1230 so the time is around 1258 okay. so what I'm gonna do is 1258 So now this is what the data points look like. So whatever the values we have, now you can represent this in a Grafana. And this is where, you know, this thing seems to be pretty handy, right? Here you can see the time series, right? Because in FlixDB, whenever we insert any data, we can do one more thing, right? We can quickly check with some additional data over here. Let me add two more records here. Let me add the another dashboard now. This can be a grand graph, and this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a different table. So let's give it a name, let's say man usage or CPU usage. the data source this okay so one more here so remove this particular graph what we need is cpu usage not cpu usage or java not why the records are not coming let me quickly change this to last 38 hours let's see whether i was having some data here or not yeah we have we do have some data right and that is for 826 to 828 uh, so let's one more thing which we can verify here uh, we can quickly check how many records we are getting here and let's quickly check we have 1 lakh 4202 records in cpu uses select So now this is how you can represent your data, whatever data you have in Inflix DB, and that is how you can integrate and you can just play around, right? And this is very handy in monitoring, you know, any application in a real time based on your time series. And this is this is what from my side. If you have any additional, if you need any additional information on it, please feel free to put that in a comment. And thanks for watching this. And I would like to thank each and every viewer and the subscriber who is supporting me and that really encouraged me to come up with, you know, to provide whatever knowledge I have to come up with some content on YouTube so that everybody can refer it and everybody can learn it. Thanks for watching this and stay tuned for my upcoming video. Thanks for